newspapers and asking if it's a case of favoritism. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is digging deeper into this story for us tonight. Before a press conference this morning in Crystal River, staff asked media members not to question Governor Ron DeSantis about a new Miami Herald report. That report says nearly all seniors in the wealthy Ocean Reef Club community in Key Largo were vaccinated back in January, and that includes several donors who have given thousands of dollars to the GOP. Despite the request, we still press the governor for answers. The Miami Herald article was a train wreck. Um, that was not a site that we were involved in in the Keys. Uh, what that was was one of the South Florida hospital systems uh, went and, and went to uh, this community, vaccinated a bunch of seniors. I think that's great. It does give the appearance that he is uh, uh, cherry picking, if you will, people that are either political allies or supporters or a neighborhood or larger area. Uh, that would uh, most likely uh, be part of his voting block. Questions have come up recently about other areas like Lakewood Ranch in Manatee County, which was developed by a Republican fundraiser. Inequitable distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine continues to be questioned around the state. Less than 6% of Floridians who have been vaccinated so far are black, while Democrats have criticized the governor for choosing wealthy neighborhoods for being picked for pop-up vaccine sites. The governor's office says more than half of them have been in Democratic stronghold counties of Broward and Palm Beach. Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.